Yo, what's good? It's your boy Dead Man Vince, and uh, today we're gonna be doing a face cam video because you know I thought I'd like to show you guys the man behind the microphone today. Even though I've done face cam videos before, but I don't do them too often. Uh, today I saw that we had, or yeah, yeah, today these just dropped today, eight hours ago. Um, we have animations for Yuno's attack skills, and also I like the nice little touch where everybody has like their own little customized right here. So if you look right here. Everybody has their own little customized, um, I guess, symbol for their grimoire, but which which doesn't make sense though, because you know has a four leaf grimoire. Um, so if we look a little closer, it hmm, yeah, I don't know why they would do that, because you see the clover little stem right here, right? You see one, two. It looks almost as if there is a four leaf off the like behind it, but who knows, right? Also, they show they show the intro animations on these little videos. I do appreciate that very much. But it looks like it looks like the scheme that, that I said they were gonna be sticking to is actually the proper scheme, right? So they drop they drop a silhouette, then the next day they drop they drop a uh, uh, uncovered picture, a revealed picture, and then literally six days later, so nearly a week later, because it is the twenty second. If we can do math, sixteen plus six is twenty two. So it looks like they are just releasing these just about a honestly they're probably doing them a week apart, but the times are weird because I'm in America and these things are dropping in Japan not too sure about that but yeah no so it looks like we got the you know attack animations and when how long did it take for asta's uh ultimate move animation to come out after so his attack sales came out on the 8th his uh ultimate animation came out three days later so i'm assuming we'll be able to see so so it seems to me because the first day this day six days from the second day so literally each character is going to take like nearly two weeks to get revealed it seems like uh but yeah we're right here on Yuno's animations and they've been playing in the background we're gonna go ahead and just uh run it back i don't know if i can play the sound on this because i don't know if it's copyrighted so i'm just turn it down but we got you know running in you know joins the party you know uh jumps in with his intro animation which is very smooth him gliding a wind slash now this one right here looks really fucking good the wind blade barrage i, was, I remember i was talking about this move in my uh in my uh, speculation video of whether or what moves you know could possibly have starting out so i'm glad to see that this move touched down it was pretty i feel like it was pretty much a given and then the next move here is towering tornado and then i'm gonna guess that that move right there might be sylph's breath because you know did find sylph at a very early point in this in the in the anime slash manga i'm pretty sure uh, anime wise he found sylph at like chapter like episode uh i feel like no what is that vibrating oh uh, i feel like i feel like he didn't find self no later than like episode uh 16 or so 17 my bad so yeah there goes you know skill animations and also just one more thing i wanted to point out real quick the boy got the sauce now i'm capping i'm capping but uh if you look here where is it where is it where is it where is it so with attacks like this it was kind of hard to confirm right because look at this animation here you that animation could literally just kind of like pop out or he could pop off that animation just in the middle of combat i feel like people were wondering whether it was going to be a, a turn-based game or rather a, a real-time you know uh what's the word i'm looking for just interactive type of game and honestly now that i've seen this i'm starting to think that this is a turn-based game because one this animation right here even now that i look at it takes a little bit of where takes a little bit of time to get the animation off right he has to charge it up and then throw it so i i just feel like if it was an interactive real-time type of game that animation might be a tiny bit faster but just because you're going to be you know there's going to be point uh point blank pinpoint accuracy is what you need when fighting somebody else real time right but then i see these moves and i'm just like oh yo this is obviously an AOE attack to battle the entire team. So that means that there will be an in, a line of enemies as opposed to just one enemy. And also not to mention this this animation definitely takes too long to charge up. So uh, this this would be a bad move for a real time fighting game because you got to think you press the button man goes into his little cutscene, Then he charges up the spears. Then he blasts them. It's just like that's that's probably not some real time type of shit and if it is real time that means you're getting jumped because why do you need aoe moves in a real time game honestly 
or not why do you need aoe moves because you know mobs and whatnot but still this is looking like a turn-based game to me plus i mean it's developed by the same people who made grand cross man uh so i already had a strong feeling it was a turn-based game but that's gonna be it for this video i guess all i wanted to cover on you know's aspect and also yes just pay attention to that uh that uh time schedule so the next time we get a character silhouette it's probably gonna be noel Let, let's see how far apart let's see how far apart i don't think they'll do them exactly so march 15th was you know asta stuff ended on march 11th so i don't want to call specifics here but it's the 22nd right now i'd say one two three i say give it the 25th May wait, 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 wait. What's on the 25th? Oh, on the tiny on the 25th, Tiny Tina Wonderlands drops. On the 25th, right? Maybe they drop you know's ultimate animation. And then boom, 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 boom. The 29th, we get a uh, Noel silhouette. The 30th, we get a we get a Noel reveal. The 5th, we get animations. The 8th, we get ultimate animation. Now, if it goes just like that, then I mean, we got the pattern. We got the pattern down. We know when we're going to see information. If that's not the case, then I'm sorry to be pulling, but it's just a little odd to me that th sure there's only two instances so far that we've had, but literally the time frame is exactly the same for all of these. So yeah, I feel like we can expect to see Yuno's know, ultimate move in deep in more detail because you know this right here is just a charge up for it. So he's probably going to blast off a of Sylph's breath. Not going to say he is, but I, I feel like I feel like that's pretty much what it's going to be. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys do enjoy these videos, uh, leave a like down below and subscribe and hit the notification bell because I will be back with more content for you guys. And I do enjoy making these videos for you guys. Um, you can also comment down below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. If you like face cam videos, you know, let me know that. If you don't, uh, if you think I look like a monster, that's cool too. I, I will just stop using the face cam until the game actually comes. And then I, I got to use the face cam when the game comes because I'm trying to be interactive with y'all, man. But yeah, no, that's going to be it for today's video. It is your boy, Dead Man Vent, signing out. And always remember, we chilly.